Good morning, YouTube. This is Waterfall Joe, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm borrowing a camera to go out shooting with. This is the OM5 from OM System. And today, I'm just going to go out hiking with it. We're going to go out shooting some waterfalls, and I'm just going to try out all of its features for the day. Uh, I've really been intrigued by this system, and I'm, I'm really happy to just go out and shoot with it for the day and uh, film some videos. So let's go ahead and let's dive in. Let's talk OM System. So OM System was formerly known as Lumpus up until a few years ago. They have quite a good range of cameras to choose from. The first one is the EM10 Mark IV. This is the beginner level camera. Great small travel camera, just like this one. The next one is the OM5, which is what we'll be playing with today. This is the middle one. And then there's the OM1 Mark II. Now this is the big boy, the flagship, the, the work of art camera in my opinion. That's the one that I'd love to have one day. Maybe one day I'll get one to review for you guys. And then they also make a camera called the Tough TG7. Now this is their waterproof adventure travel camera, point and shoot camera. Very good for traveling as well. The OM5 retails for about $1,200, just the body only. You can also buy it with the 12 to 45 millimeter lens as well. Um, but today we are playing with the Olympus 17 1.2. Now on a micro four thirds camera, you have to double the number you see on the lens to get its full frame equivalent. So a 17 millimeter is a 34 millimeter or in standard lens terms, a 35 millimeter. So today if we're playing around with the 35 1.2 aperture essentially. There are a few features specifically about OM system cameras that I am very excited to go out and play with today and I'll show you what they are. So under the computational photography settings, we have high res shot. Now these cameras are capable of merging multiple photos together to give you a high res image. This camera does have a 20 megapixel sensor and it actually takes multiple photos and merges them together to give you a either a 50 megapixel or an 80 megapixel shot if you're on a tripod versus, I'm sorry, if you're not on a tripod versus you're on a tripod. The other mode that intrigues me, especially as a waterfall photographer, is live ND filters built in. So if we go here, we have multiple different stops of an ND filter to choose from. So rather than carrying multiple filters with you, OM system has built it into the camera. And today we're gonna to go try that out on a waterfall and see how the live ND filters work. The other thing that intrigues me about this camera is OM system is a leader in in-body image stabilization. This camera here is up to seven stops of, of in-body image stabilization, meaning whenever you're out shooting, you may not have to carry a tripod with you as much as you were on, say, a different camera system. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go shooting with this. I'm taking no tripod, I'm taking this camera and my vlogging camera. Those are the only two things I'm taking with me. And we're gonna go out and shoot some waterfalls and some autumn foliage. So let's hit the road, let's go check it out, and uh, let's see what the OM5 is capable of doing. To my Nikon and all my full frame equipment, you guys are going to stay here today, rest. Today we are going out with this. Alright, so we're here at Wadsworth Falls State Park, my favorite local waterfall. It's been nothing but dry for the past month here in Connecticut and pretty much all of the smaller waterfalls are dried up. That's one of my reasons I love this place so much is this is such a reliable, dependable, this one's always going to be flowing. We're out here with the OM5 today, and the first thing I want to do is I want to try out, try out the live ND filter mode here. I actually was just shooting around just a little bit. Here's a handheld waterfall at one second. No tripod, no nothing, just straight up ND filters built into the camera. Uh, if the rest of the day is going to go like this, I'm going to be in a pretty good mood. Almost a second long. You can see the live ND filter actually showing you what the photo is going to look like. If we go vertical here, oh, actually it's, yeah. so let's go ahead and shoot this. I am so blown away right now. And if we go on the menu here, let's just try a 1 EV just to try it out right now. Let's do, let's take 2.5. Handheld, so amazing. Let's try the, hmm. 
absolutely spectacular we're able to get that hand held uh, I could never do that with another system I'm not a very stable person so this is absolutely amazing okay let's try one second right now here we go oh you see I'm shaking just a little bit let's see how did it do absolutely spectacular built in I don't even need a tripod anymore now, OM system is known for many things, two of them being the in-body image stabilization and the weather sealing. Now, this is not my camera, so we're not gonna do anything with the weather sealing, but you just saw a great demonstration of one second handheld, no tripod, no anything, straight out of camera. Um, that's really impressive, especially considering that I am not a very stable person. I always use a tripod. So, so far my impressions are very good of this camera. I am shooting in RAW, so when I get home, I'm actually gonna throw the files in Lightroom and play around with it. And uh, if any of them turned out good, I'll throw them on the screen here for you to enjoy. So I've just been shooting with the OM5 for 10-15 minutes here at the waterfall. Um, I gotta say, my expectations are 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 shattered. This is this is so phenomenal, guys. It's actually kind of messing with me. Like it really changed my way of viewing photography. I'm getting one second handheld waterfall photos straight out of camera with no tripod. This is actually really messing with me. Uh, I knew this camera was great, but I almost have the chills, like this is, this is amazing. This really is making me reconsider my camera decisions. I love this camera. I love this camera. I'm not paid, I'm not reimbursed for anything I'm saying. This is simply me having fun with this camera. Uh, I didn't, no one's paying me anything for my thoughts. But this is awesome. As a waterfall photo photographer, being able to shoot handheld with, with no, and not having to carry any filters, it's all in the camera. I'm having so much fun just walking around, just shooting. Uh, I don't have to lug my tripod around. I don't have any heavy stuff. This is so light and simple. I'm gonna keep shooting. I'm having so much fun. I'm gonna shoot until this battery dies. Um, I am gonna get up in a second and we're gonna go do some high res shooting because I only have one battery, so I gotta make the best of it. But OM5 so far gets two thumbs up for me. So I'm actually up close and personal with the waterfall right now. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with some composition. There's a lot of leaves and it's actually leading your eye right up to the waterfall. I've honestly just been hand holding for about a second. And the Ibis is doing such a good job. Yeah, it looks like it's straight off of a tripod. So very impressive stuff. I'm really pleased with what I'm getting today. And uh, I can't wait to go home and edit these photos and share them with you guys here on the video. You can see I'm actually swaying a little bit and the Ibis is doing such a good job. Here, here's one second exposure right now. Pack sharp, handheld. All right, just wrapped up the waterfall shooting. Now we're actually heading onto another part of the trail I've been wanting to check out for quite a while now. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a cool stone bridge 
and I think the stone bridge with some autumn foliage will look amazing. So I'm actually hiking to a spot of Wadsworth Falls that I've never actually been to. I've seen pictures of it. It's this gorgeous path surrounded by autumn trees and uh, I'm heading there right now. But I want to just make a few notes on this camera while we have it here. Uh, my biggest complaint is it has a micro USB port, not a USB-C port. Uh, I wanted to charge it in the car on the way over here, but I don't have a micro USB cable in my, in my car. I do hope that next generations of this will have a USB-C port uh, because that's kind of where everything's going now. I do notice that the Live ND does eat up quite a bit of the battery, so if you get one, make sure you get a ba an extra battery or two because it does kind of go through them kind of quickly. That is a problem that doesn't actually happen on the OM-1, which is the, the next step up. It has a much higher capacity battery, so just keep that in mind. Well, here it is. This is the path I was talking about. Here we are at Bridge Trail and Laurel Brook Trail. We're gonna explore both, but look at this. I absolutely love how this curves around, kind of draws your eye down there. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun shooting this, so let's get, let's get doing it. Okay, this is the spot that I was hiking to. I, I've seen pictures of it, but I've never actually been here. I absolutely love these moss covered stones and how it kind of curves and leads your eye up there. So we're gonna take this, let me put the strap on here. We're gonna take this and we're gonna hopefully get some shots of this and uh, see how it looks. So let's go ahead and try this out. And I figured there's no better place to try out the high res mode than right here. Nothing's really moving. We have plenty of detail here to play with. So I'm gonna go and turn on the high res mode. So right here you can tell it handheld or a tripod. I've never actually done this before, so let me see. Let's see, let's try this. Let's see if I got it turned on correctly here. Okay, no moving. It says busy, don't move. Hold steady. It's essentially taking a bunch of pictures and it's gonna merge all of them together. Oh, I think I moved a little bit, let's see. Actually, you know what? I didn't move at all. Look at the detail when we zoom in, that is phenomenal. And actually down here in the corner it says 50 M. That means that this is a 50 megabyte file now. But look at the beauty of this spot. And actually down here is a awesome, we're gonna hike down here. There's this breathtaking bridge. Uh, we're gonna go shoot it. This place is amazing. Let's hike down there. Look at the way that this tree is just completely growing through the wall. Just completely broke through the stone. And actually it looks like the tree is actually impacted by the stone itself. Very fascinating. I am being absolutely spoiled with autumn foliage photography right now. We have this magnificent bridge with this gorgeous autumn tree and we have the reflection down there. And then look at this way. Look at just the, the leaves across the foreground here. I'm gonna have a field day with my photography. I'm gonna shoot this thing until the battery dies. This is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and just let you enjoy. So I'm absolutely loving this tree right here. And we even have a little reflection going on. So let's see if we can get it in the shot here. And of course we have this blanket of, of yellow leaves everywhere. It's absolutely phenomenal. All right, we're gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, this was a really fun episode for me to shoot. I had so much fun walking around today with the OM5. Once again, I wasn't reimbursed or anything. This was just my personal thoughts on the camera. 
I loved playing with the high res mode. I loved the live ND filters and I love that I didn't even need to bring a tripod with me to shoot today. So I'll put some sample photos on the screen for you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment what you thought. What do you think of the OM system? What do you think of this camera? You know, is it something you'd be looking into? Let me know down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a good day.